The absolute worst thing your internet service provider can do to you is throttling. Wondering what ISP throttling is? Oh, just a neat way to ensure you're not using up a lot of bandwidth by cutting down your speed to a smithereen. If you've ever experienced your internet connection slowing down to one of a snail, it's most likely ISP throttling at its best. In this video, you'll have me, Michael, explaining everything there is to know about throttling and answering the question, how to stop ISP throttling and finally speed up the internet for you. This content is brought to you by cybernews.com and me specifically. So consider leaving a like and subscribing for more content. So why and when ISP throttling happens? Often ISP will throttle you if you're using a lot of bandwidth or do something associated with that. For example, when you're watching a stream or downloading torrents, you'll get throttled because the ISP associates that with high bandwidth consumption. The rule is simple. If the action requires a lot of bandwidth, there is a higher chance of the ISP stepping on your tail. But even if you do nothing to upset your ISP, it might still throttle you in peak hours. And it won't be just you. Peak hour throttling often affects all the users. But how do you find out? Am I being throttled? It's a question I bet you asked at least once, assuming you know what throttling is. There are many ways to how to check your internet speed and find out if it's throttled. You can use one of many internet health tests to check various connections for signs of poor performance. If the connectivity of the same app with different service providers differs massively, then congratulations, you just got throttled. Okay, so your suspicions came true. What do you do? Except raiding your ISP's office. Believe it or not, you need a VPN. ISP throttling won't be effective if the ISP can't detect when you're torrenting or watching a stream. So there's no need to throttle your connection. Of course, if that's just a peak time throttle, even a VPN won't help. By encrypting your connection and rerouting it through their secure servers, VPNs make sure ISPs have nothing against you. Using a VPN versus ISP throttling is also very easy. All you gotta do is download a VPN, run it, and connect to the server closest to you. Even a server in your country will do. For example, you can use NordVPN with a free trial here by signing up to the NordVPN Android app. Download the VPN, install it, following all the guidelines, and run the app. After that, Quick Connect yields me a fast and encrypted connection that can't be throttled by the ISP anymore. Boom. There are some rock solid VPN options you can use to avoid ISP throttling. And for them, we have a Cyber News exclusive discount available through the link in the description. I can name at least three really good choices off the top of my head. NordVPN, which I've used as an example, is a good option because it provides good security and protection. It was very fast when I tested it, letting me keep torrenting despite the speed drop that usually occurs with VPNs. Thanks to the P2P optimized servers and smart DNS technology, NordVPN remains one of the best choices for streaming and torrenting. For an affordable price too. Surfshark VPN is an apex predator amongst VPNs. It's fast, secure, and consistent. I've used it extensively and never saw a significant speed drop with the exception of perhaps Australia, which is expected. Their internet cable was probably bitten off by like a spider snake or something. I've got a lot of devices. So Surfshark's unlimited device deal allows me to use it on all of them and also share with my family. And it can unblock a lot of content. Trust me, I've tried them all. This service is undoubtedly the most user-friendly in terms of pricing as well. So keep that in mind. I also quite like IP Vanish for dealing with ISP throttling. This VPN is a decent option if you don't want to commit too much. It has all you need to bypass throttling and it's decent for streaming Netflix US. I personally only use it for torrenting since speeds are good and there's a SOX5 proxy to assist with P2P file sharing. The prices are good for the first month or first year doubling afterwards. So I'd recommend this VPN only for beginner users looking for a temporary solution. Guys, our channel is perfect for those just starting to learn about cybersecurity. Leave a like and subscribe because there's more content coming out every week. In the end, 
It's both easy to detect and stop ISP throttling. You just require the best VPN for ISP throttling. Of all I mentioned, NordVPN is a balanced all-rounder. Surfshark, best value for money. And IPVanish is a perfect beginner choice. Whichever VPN you end up using, I can only wish you luck and hope that you will never get screwed over by an ISP in your deserved time of rest. Stay safe online, guys, and enjoy that unthrottled internet. See you soon.